Huh. The light's hitting the statue, but nothing's happening. Nadine, be a dear. Way ahead of you. Got it. Thank you. Time to do the other side. Well, shit. This one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. There. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water, it's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. They found us! Get you ready! Shit!
now that was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come. It's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find out, I gotta help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was going to say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh! Oh, my... Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. The kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on. Oh, our on day. the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't!
Don't try anything stupid. <coughs> Shiva and Parashurama. over here you'd better not be stalling Chloe don't you give this schmuck what he wants quiet Testing my patience. He's yielding. Thanks. It's going to fall. Quiet! Kanesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Sure, that's it? No. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. <laughs> See, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. 
But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Gonna have sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes! Shit! The lockpick! Got it! Hold on! Okay, now do me! Coming! Oh, okay, alright. Damn it! Ah! Uh, Ladies first! Oh, dear, not to rush you, but would you please hurry the hell up? Take a deep breath! <laughs> Bias. What do you mean? Still very soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for. Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. So we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just you saying. Right, 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 right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. Asov's a cajun. Almost never talks sharp in front of me. I can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough.